Hey everybody, Bayzat here, and today I've got the highly anticipated Okayama Spirit 5, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about them. Okayama is a prefecture in Japan that is world-renowned for its denim production. It has such a rich traditional history of indigo dyeing and weaving, and that all comes together to produce some of the world's most amazing denim, and that's what inspired the name Okayama Spirit. Our Okayama Spirit series is known for its extreme texture and high contrast fading potential. And this is achieved by a combination of low tension weaving and the use of irregular sized big slub yarns. Low tension weaving gives the fabric an uneven surface appearance. They set the machines to run slower and this causes the weave to be less consistent. You can see evidence of this when you take a look at the twill lines. You can see just how uneven they are compared to standard weaving. Then we add irregular sized slub yarns. And these are yarns that are fat in some parts and skinnier in the others. And the way that they achieve this is by controlling the speed in which the yarns are spun. Slow speeds make the yarn fatter, and faster speeds make the yarn skinnier. So what they'll do is they'll set the machine to run at a variety of speeds so that you'll get fat and skinny sections all throughout the yarn. Now when you dye this yarn, the fatter portions will absorb more dye and the skinnier portions less. And when that dye starts to fade, different portions of the yarn will fade at different rates and this will highlight all of the irregularities in this fabric. And it's all these inconsistencies and irregularities that give the Okayama Spirit its signature hand-woven look and feel. The Okayama Spirit 5 is made with the same fabric construction as the Okayama Spirit 4. If you want to learn more about that gene, I've got a link in the description below. The Okayama Spirit 5 is a 16-ounce samphorized Japanese salvage denim gene with a black weft interior. The black weft is going to give these jeans an extra layer of contrast as they fade. The black undertone is going to make the electric blues even bluer and the white core of the yarn even whiter. If you love high contrast fades, these are definitely the jeans for you. Now let's go over the details of the Okayama Spirit 5. First up, let's take a look at the fabric. It's a 16 ounce, 100% cotton. It's quite rigid, so these are going to take a little bit of time to break in. If you want these to be a little bit more comfortable right off the bat, you should uh, maybe consider doing a soak on them. Um, but speaking of soaks and whether or not you need to do it, these jeans are samphorized while well, the fabric is samphorized. So you're not going to have to worry about any shrinkage. We've removed all of that shrinkage for you. So, you know, there's no guesswork in terms of what size you need to get. Just follow the measurement guides and you will have the right size for sure. Oftentimes when you have a denim this slubby, they are unsamphorized. But with the OKM OK Spirit 4 and 5, we were able to samphorize this fabric, get rid of the shrinkage and maintain that super slubby texture. Here on the back of the jeans, we've got this thick 10 ounce blacked out buffalo leather patch. We also have our custom made mill spec non-reflective buttons and rivets. These are all made for us by YKK in the USA. We've got contrast stitching and here on the inside, we've got that black weft and a dusty pink line selvage ID. This is kind of a vintage detail. On vintage jeans, you'll often see a red line selvage ID that is faded to pink. So that's where the idea for this uh, selvage line came from. The Okami OK Spirit 5 will be available in the Super Guy, Weird Guy, and Easy Guy, as well as the denim jacket at select naked and famous denim retailers worldwide. We've got a blog post linked in the description below with a full retailer availability list. Let me know your thoughts about the Okayama Spirit 5 in the comments section below. Let's continue the conversation there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget you can join me live every Friday right here on YouTube for our weekly live stream. And uh, I think that's everything. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave it at that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.